Hello and welcome everybody to the next episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sandbox Edition. Now I have a little surprise for you. If we go this way I have actually built some additional um, stuff in the in the park. So if we keep going here and yes that ladies and gentlemen is the innovation center. So if we go through here What was that? I don't know. Anyway, so we built the innovation center and if we go right round here Ugh, this is so long. Innovation, 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 innovation. And then we take do a righty here. Um, what have we got over here? We have the lagoon, which I've just finished building. So, yes, yeah, so we got the lagoon now, and we, we're going to release the megalodon, oh, not the megalodon, the mosasaurus. Pretty boy, or girl actually. So when people come to the park, they want to learn something, sure. But they also want to be entertained. And this marine reptile, the Mosasaurus, is just that, a showstopper. If the T-Rex is the ruler of the dinosaurs on land, then the Mosasaurus holds that title below the waves. Ooh. Make sure this animal is a premium attraction. Cool. So that's the drone, that's a new feature. And I'm going to release you. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Nice. Now, given my background in the business world, I'm pretty used to dealing with sharks. But let me tell you now, it's a whole world away from the one that Megalodon's from. 
because you dare get in the water with this shark? Oh boy, you are not coming out. <laughs> okay, let's put in some lights. I don't know, that's not what I want, I want that one there. What I want to do is I want to spruce up the... ...price by... for that one. Cool. And what I can do here now, if I go to attractions, we can now put in a couple of undersea um, so you can actually go and view the underwater world So that's in there now. So there. <coughs> so that is that bit done, and what I'm going to do here is now. to give it a bit of a border on all the exhibits so all right so that is now done that's looking good all right now time to because I always like to do two um uh what do you call them um Exhibits per episode, so here I'll go grab you and what else can I do I'm a Utah so I've got those two Raptors cooking Raptor types. Um, actually what I'll do is I'm going to might as well just kill three birds with one stone. Um, Mm 
Eggs and tiles on you and tiles on you. These guys can go into this paddock. Heading to collect Two, the three, asset. Four, five, to pick six. Up the asset. And then what I'll do is I'll put the Utahs in the closer one. No one, problem. Two, three, four. Give these guys a little sand. Let's take some So we've got our beautiful, beautiful dinosaurs coming along nicely. So, yes. Where did you go, my boy? There you are.
asset transported. All right, so I do now need to start thinking about herbivores. So what I want to do here This one. Confirming asset delivery. And this is going to have a tour going through it. Attractions, uh, truck tour, guided tour. Let's do a park tour. Because this is going to be the hang on. Escolha certa hoje e embarquem em um Okay, so I want Additional bays and accelerated growth. Okay, so let's start our herbivore ma main enclosure with a couple of you guys. A couple of you guys. No, I didn't want automation. Synthesize. Truthies. Triceratops. Um, and you. So, 
Next thing is to put in a water source. And a couple of trees. Hatch, release, 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 release. Not cool. This dinosaur, the Styracosaurus, has huge horns and a large spike similar to a rhinoceros. It also has the personality to match. It's an herbivore uses those horns and a beak to break into even the toughest of plants. Look at an ostrich or emu, then look at this latest dinosaur, the Struthiomimus, and tell me you don't see a connection. This is one of the more bird-black dinosaurs that we've brought back from extinction. It literally has a beak instead of teeth. It's an herbivore that prefers to move in herds. Overall, a fantastic addition to the park. Oh, hang on. I'm going to do a couple of brackies as well. Kentrosaurus. Animals have an innate desire to establish their own territory. Many will do so amicably, some will do so. All right. Release. Okay, what we have here is a Brachiosaurus. 
It has long limbs relative to the rest of its body. And what makes it really unique is that it's a warm-blooded dinosaur. I mean, Aww. how amazing is it that in bringing these dinosaurs back, we're also learning so much about them? <clears throat> Alright, so that concludes this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Bye for now.